I'm Crystal Farmer. And I'm Gable Torres. And we're Super 8. And we're going around asking delegates um, what delegation size has to do with the election process. I'm Sylvie Wilk. I'm from the Berkeley delegation. I believe we have 110 delegates. Um, so what do you think delegation size has to do with elections? Um, I think definitely in the elections where it's a caucus vote, um, people feel pressured to vote for their own candidate. However, I think when it's anonymous, people will vote for who they believe. I think one aspect of it is that people will know the candidates that are from their own delegation better and as a result might be inclined to vote for them. And do you have any personal experiences from this? Like, can you pull one? Um, we've had candidates, I think, almost every year running for some of the top positions. Um, this year we have Talia Stringfellow running for lieutenant governor, and um, a couple years ago we had Colin Conboy running for the same position, and I think every time we do the caucus vote, people definitely tend to almost all vote for our own candidate. 